picks. I'm calling Nebraska this weekend at home. They are a top 25 team, and they put it all over a team that had CFP aspirations in Colorado at home, a renewed Big 8, Big 12 rivalry, but now it's Big 12, Big 10 rivalry. A lot of talk went into this game a year ago. A lot went into the game. This year, there's still a lot of talk after the game around what song gets played after a touchdown. Like there, There's a lot of dialogue. <laughs> Bottom line is this, Jim. Uh, Nebraska was the better team. The defense of Tony White, and Tony White should be on every AD shortlist to be a head coach next year. He was on a couple last year, rumored to be interviewing for a few jobs. He's a stud. Why do I say that? Well, he's running the 3-3-5 defense. Remember Rocky Long, San Diego State, now a coach at Arizona who used to be the D.C. at Arizona State. We've seen this defense travel, right, to a, with a bunch of different coaches at a bunch of different places. It's always had success. It's always wrecked some havoc. Tony White and this defense did exactly that to Shador Sanders. Um, Danny Gonzalez is the coach I was referencing at Arizona. But point is that they're going to make life hard, I think, for people in the Big Ten. They made it brutal for Shador Sanders. He had no time. It seemed like that offensive front and backfield did not know where pressure was coming from because they rarely picked it up. I went through and made a 50-play cut up this morning, offense and defense, <laughs> 27 plays on defense where they really struggled handling pressure. So Colorado's got to figure that out. Their schedule, I think, will allow them to get back on track. But I don't know if the floor for this team anymore is a bowl game. They're in a new league, and I think everybody chuckled when the commissioner of the Big 12, Brent Yormark, said at Media Days, we got the deepest league in America. They might. They might. I don't know if they have a premier team. Like Utah would have been that. But they remind me of the Pac-12 a couple years ago when like everybody was beating everybody. I see that. And if you can't protect the passer, I don't know how Colorado's going to do in this league, man. They're going to have to outscore people every week, and they're going to have to keep Shador upright and healthy. Because at some point, a guy who's projected to be one of the first quarterbacks, if not the first quarterback taken, is going to have to make a decision if they all of a sudden are out of bowl contention. We're a long ways from that. I'm not saying to go do that. But I watched that game. I watched the North Dakota State game. And we'll all watch the Colorado State game. They got to protect. I don't care if it's mass, max protection, three tight ends, Jim. But that was, that was a rough watch. And, and I'm always rooting for the Buffs. I want them to win. I want Coach Prime and Dion to have the success that they promised. I think he's been great for that school. But if they don't protect, they got, they got, they're going to struggle.